It's all about the bees, right? This is Karina, our model for, for this segment. What are the big bees we need to be looking out for? Okay, so they're bronze, blue, and bold, okay? okay. So the, we're, this is, we're gonna beat the beauty blahs today with the bronze, blue, and bold. That's not easy to say, and I'm not saying it again. Yeah, don't ever say it again. That was too <laughs> hard. It was too hard. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the bronze for bronzy skin, okay? In the wintertime, we know our, our skin's all dull, it's lifeless. The quickest way to bring life and health back to our, and vibrance back to our skin mm -hmm. is to add color, number one, and then to add a little bit of shimmer, number two. So what I suggest is getting yourself a bronzer. Yeah. Now you can get a bronzer, you can get a powder bronzer, you can get a liquid bronzer, doesn't really matter. I suggest getting a powder just because it's easier to work with and it's less messy. Right. But you can get a liquid if you got skills like that and All you right. think you can do it, yeah. then go right ahead as long as it has some shimmer to it, okay? Okay. So the key to um, applying a bronzer is the way you draw it on, okay? So you want to do, draw a number three on the face. So what you're going to do is you're going to start here at the temple work your way down onto the cheekbones back out and along the jawline mm -hmm. that's what you're gonna do you want to draw threes on each side of the face okay, okay. double threes double threes Okay, and so you want to turn over the other side? It's funny because most people think bronze and they don't think winter, but it does make sense to use your bronzer in the winter. It That's when we're the dullest. Exactly, and a, lot, a, a huge misconception is that people think you need to take your bronzer and put it all over the face. <laughs> right. Right? It's not a foundation powder. It's not a foundation powder. And that, what that's going to do is you're going to look a darker, yes, mm -hmm. but you're going to look flat. Right. Okay, it's going to look flat. And if it has shimmer to it, you're also going to look like a disco ball. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you just want to avoid doing that. When you draw the, th the double threes on the face, what that does is it acts like a contour plus a highlight, right? Mm -hmm. So it gives your face that depth, right? So you, that way you have peaks and valleys in the face. It looks mm. more natural and it looks more, it has more depth. Got when it. you just do it all over, it's just flat and looks muddy. Right. So that's what a lot of people do. So you want to stay away from that. Okay, okay? so that's the bronze. She's all bronzed that's up. That's the bronze. That's the bronze. So... The second B is blue, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, before you all grab your purse and run out the door, <laughs> right? And you start thinking, I'm gonna zone out now because Tracy P went too far saying blue, okay? <laughs> I'm not suggesting that you wear it the way Cindy Lauper did in 1984. Right, don't go crazy. Don't go crazy, don't have to wear it all the way to the brow bone. Mm -hmm. I'm suggesting a much fresher take, a much newer take on it, and it's gonna be an eyeliner. Okay. Okay, that's a more modern take people on it. People can handle that. And you know, people have been sort of getting back into colored eyeliners little by little yeah, right but I want to make sure it is a bold color we're and not talking baby be blue we're not talking navy blue mm -hmm. I want you to go bold electric blue okay? okay so just close your eyes so I always say when you're drawing on an eyeliner you want to make sure that you are doing short little strokes like this okay right. you never ever ever want to try and do one continuous line and hold it from one end of the eye to the other because your hands gonna wobble and it's gonna get crooked okay so always do short little strokes I've said it a billion times in the show and I'm gonna say it a billion and one keep your strokes fine if you want a straight, a straight line. line that's how you're going to be able to draw a straight line see how what I'm doing here mm -hmm. short little strokes open looks very nice very nice right yeah, I love and it. so you don't want to uh, if the, the smaller your eyes are you want to keep the line thinner it's always even if your eyes are big start thin and build yeah. up you never want to do a thick line and then have to remove makeup it's always better to add makeup than to then have remove. to remove it so we've got our blue we've got our bronzed what about our bold and this I'll, I'll move on to the bold which yeah. is the lips but just remember with this all she has to do is throw some mascara on do a neutral pair of neutral lip with this because the eyes are pretty out there yeah and there it is but okay. the last one is bold, okay? Yeah. So bold stands for either bright, bold lips or dark, bold lips. Today yeah. we're going to do a, bold, a dark, bold lip. Never shall these um, two looks meet. Don't do them together. <laughs> Never do them together, Got please. It. I'm begging you to not do them together or you're <laughs> going to look crazy. So what, what the good thing about this lip is... You can pretty much pair it up. You do so. You do the bronzy skin, yeah. and then keep the eyes really nude. Just mm -hmm. do nothing actually, and just load up on mascara, mm -hmm. and then do the either bright bold lip or do the dark lip. But never, like I said, ever bring the two looks together because you're going to frighten people. It doesn't look as dark as it does in the the tube on her it lips. Doesn't. It's a great color. But it's for also because I'm using a lip brush right now. Right. If she were to go directly onto her lips, it would get a lot darker. Right. But lip brushes are a great way to control what's going on right yeah so she can control how dark she wants it to get so really there's no excuse right you either in the winter time you can either do the bronze you can do the blue you can do the bold 
but you can choose, right? Yeah, pick which one is your B, right? Yeah, pick your B. It's never too cold to look hot. Oh, mm. nice one, Tracy Pierre.